हेलो एवरी वन आई एम नीरज आई एव ए फ्रेंड नेम्ड एलन फ्यू डेज ए गोज एलन सजेस्टेड मी टू हैव ए प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द चाई रूटर एंड द एच टी एम एक्स दिस इज़ अ न्यू सीरीज एक्चुअली एंड दिस होल न्यू सीरीज वुड बी फोकस टूवर्ड चाई राउटर एंड एच टी एम एक्स सो लेट इज फर्स्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द एंसर अबाउट द चाई एंड एच टी एम एक्स हाउ एवर ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग चाई वॉज न्यू टू मी एंड आई एम वेरी मच थैंकफुल टू एलन फॉर having my attention toward the chai router and chai router literally i find it very 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 good and uh, very lightweight so what is chai actually so we have uh, already worked a lot with the uh, fiber framework and jain framework so chai router is a kind of that routing package and uh, that uh, that helps the http routing very very uh, uh, a smooth and very very good good one okay so chai is basically if we come to their their documentation so it is the all the features are mentioned over there so this is literally very super super fast super super lightweight actually so less than 1000 lines of code for this whole chai router as compared to fiber and and the jain and they are and that is very fast obviously and uh, this is like uh, we can working with chai i mean it looks like we we are working with the pure net http package so very shortly we are going to see that don't worry so it gives us a feeling about that uh, we are working with a pure golang in a in a pure golang style so i liked it very very much and uh, when we talk about this htmx so just htmx is a like a, just try to uh, to think about a few hours ago scenarios when we have the pure html websites and uh, then we then we 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 uh, we came across with jquery or the backbone js to uh, integrate some interactivity within our html application html websites and then then uh, then the era came with the react js and uh, angular js but actually react js and htmx is a entirely different thing so we cannot compare uh, htmx with react but uh, ht with uh, using htmx so we can add the interactivity within our html websites you know, very very easily with just with just writing a uh, simple attributes and uh, like for example say uh, for example say just uh, try to think of it a form uh, let's say a subscription form and user clicks a submit button and uh, using jquery so we make a we initiate an api call and uh, whatever the response is so we just replace the form element with the success or failure message so but in order to do that stuff so we could have write a light uh, uh, a lot of code in the jquery but uh, we using htmx so this is super super easy super super fast with just a uh, i mean just writing about this to this this two attributes or few attributes so we will very we will see all these stuffs in this series so enough talking and enough introduction so let us now try to uh, do that so i'll come back to our terminal and first of all so we will initiate a module so we'll say github.com neeraj bg chai and we'll say it htmx so it will create a go mod file so i'll open the vs code so vs code opened our this module has been created so first of all so we will have uh, our main dot go file and uh, we will come back to to our chai router page and we will very simply copy this and paste it so this way it will create a and also we will need to install this as well so we'll copy this and open our terminal paste and hit enter so it will add this dependency So that's all. So this way, so our our uh, very first Chai router has been created. So we can test it also. We will start our server. 
and uh, we will access our http localhost port 3000 okay so hello world so we are getting this hello world so far so good but actually so we have to integrate the htmx as well so htmx would be basically a standard html template so we will we will also need to use the ht uh, the template uh, the http template as well so we will do that so first of all so we will create the basic structure so we will create a templates directory and inside this directory so i will create a index.html file so we will have a very basic html we will go with a head and inside title so let's say chai htmx demo and inside the body so let's say we will have a h1 tag chai htmx demo so far so good so let's test it so nothing because uh, we need to actually integrate this uh, template as well otherwise uh, so they say by the way so this is you will think of it like a very be, i mean basic stuff and uh, we will replace this uh, route with our own route so just like a uh, gen or uh, fiber so uh, what uh, what is happening here is that uh, in the variable r we are creating a new instance of our chai router and this uh, the logger middleware so we are using so just like gen or fiber we are doing the same thing over there so we will create a new route and uh, it would be the home route and we will create a home handler so believe me so creating this uh, handler so we will uh, feel it right like working with the net http so we'll create this handler so first parameter so we will need to provide http dot response writer and second we will need to provide a pointer to our request object request okay and uh, uh, my idea is that uh, my, my thinking is that that uh, we will have a base template over there and we will have let's say some some buttons and uh, base and upon click of those buttons so we will uh, replace that uh, content dynamically okay so uh, in order to do that so we will need to provide the template we will need to use this template so in order to use this template so we will need to use the template package so we will so better there is there is no point to so we will need to use template package so package from the http dot template and this is having a parse files so here we need to provide the path of our html file so this is index dot html fine and uh, then uh, we will need to uh, execute this template so we will say p dot execute and uh, uh, we need to provide the uh, this uh, this template to the part of the response writer so the first parameter it takes on the w that is the response writer and second parameter we can also pass the our uh, some variables so let us create some variables so we will i will use the make method and i will create a map map of uh, a string and string yeah that's it and uh, now i can create a let's say name equals neeraj and this way so we i'll have already passed this context to our template and uh, this this whole template is going to be with the response writer 
and uh, now I can check for any error. So I will check if any if there if the error is not nil. That means there is some error. So we will log this error and uh, say error in uh, template execution. Okay. So so far so good. So hopefully. Let us test our application should work. Okay, so we are getting this thing. So our template is uh, is ready, and now we have to integrate this HTMX. So using HT integrating HTMX is super super easy. So all we have to do is we have to copy this uh, JavaScript tag, and uh, we will need to add this tag in our HTML. So that will make a, that will convert this uh, plain HTML to a HTMX. And again, so we will copy this this stuff and uh, paste it. And uh, so this should not be a post, rather a get. And uh, we let us create. We will create a new route very shortly. So. My idea is that uh, this is a this this would this 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 when the user clicks on this button, so we will display something. So for now, so we will create this route, and uh, we will come back here and we will create a new route. And obviously, so we will need to create a new handler as well. So we will call it user info handler. So let's create this handler. So func user info handler again ttp dot response writer and r would be a pointer to http dot request and uh, we will say w dot right and uh, for we will simply for for now so i am simply returning a simple string so it would accept a byte slice of byte and let's say user info from api server okay so let's let us test it so we will refresh it so when the, the user clicks clicks on it so it is replacing the this the whole button text would be changed and if we check in the network console so actually it, it is uh, when the user clicks on it so it is creating a api call remember using jquery so we need to bind this uh, automate the the uh, this whole whole list of uh, to make the this ajax call so we need to write at least six or seven lines of codes a minimum so this is the beauty of htmx so using just just by writing only simple stuff like only this attribute ajax get so this is create uh, initiating an api call and this ajax swap using this ajax swap so we are the outer html that like we are saying that uh, whenever it clicks on it so just just replace this whole stuff but we can also have a something more meaningful so let us have a div with a id let's say user info and uh, this way and let us have a paragraph with the test and uh, uh, we want that uh, whenever user clicks on it, so we uh, we need to uh, add the the response to this div. So this the uh, this div container. This is what we were doing with the uh, jQuery. So we can provide another parameter as well, like hx target, and here we can provide the ID of the our uh, our placeholder. So our placeholder is user info. That would be the container to hold the, this response. 
and this hx swap would be we need to uh, to change from the outer to inner because we need to uh, change the inner html so hopefully when the this this runs so we should get uh, right now this uh, this is having a test and when user clicks on it so ideally so we, this text this test uh, text should be replaced so let us see that so okay so yes so this is working fine so let us also uh, add some styling over there and uh, let's say style and first of all for this h1 i am going to have a text align center and uh, i am going to create a class of class box with the uh, adding let's say 1 em and uh, margin also margin uh, margin also 1 em and uh, a border with the uh, 1 px solid and triple uh, c with a gray kind of color and uh, we will add this class over here class box so now so now so so now it would be more visible so when user clicks on it so this uh, the the inner content of this box the whole box all the this div that is getting changed so uh, however this is a this is a this is the very first session and uh, honestly so this is chai router and and htmx is also very new to me so my idea here is that what i am going to do next that uh, alan uh, suggested me to use the postgres uh, in a seed of mysql so i am going to add the my the postgres database uh, uh, also with this chai router my idea here is that we will have three buttons one would be to load the let's say some blog articles and second would be to load some product list and whenever user clicks on uh, let's say the article list so the user will get the article list inside this box and when the user clicks on the product list the user will get the uh, product list in this very box so that way so we can have a one single page application more or less that kind of thing but uh, we can have that kind of uh, simulation or, or that interactive interactive interactivity so that uh, in the in uh, one single single page application so based uh, so upon what uh, item was clicked so based upon the our choice so we can uh, load that uh, specific item list in this uh, one single container so that is my idea and uh, that is what uh, i'll uh, i'll be doing uh, in next few sessions okay so till then take care and uh, i hope uh, the, like uh, from like like our previous few series series so this chai router series is also going to be very very easy one and uh, very very fruitful so i hope you'll enjoy it so if you have any anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll see you in the next session so till then take care and happy coding